conversation that can go on for days because it literally really there's so there many comparisons <laughs> that you can make. Welcome back to my channel. I am Alexi Nicole and I am living my life by design. I have two guests here with me today. Y'all know Fawn. I, do I don't know why you do that either. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Medin. He's been featured in another one of my videos. You were? Yeah. yeah while like, we were doing um, to training. Bring, like what to pack. But anywho, I wanted to come to y'all today with a video about regional airlines versus major slash mainline airlines because we get a lot of questions. What are the benefits of working for a major airline? Um, what is pay like? What are your trips like? Layovers? Tons of questions. So I've never worked for a regional myself. So I wanted to bring in reinforcements, people that can give you true and honest answers to some of these questions. I have five airlines under my belt. First airline, um, I started right out of high school. That was with Continental Airlines back in 1998. I started as a gate agent because I wasn't old enough to fly, but I knew what I wanted to do. So I stayed there as a gate agent until six weeks before my 20th birthday. Um, and then I went to in-flight. And I stayed there um, up until September 11th. And um, I was furloughed after that. Took a little break to raise my daughter. I tried to come back when she was three. I came back with Repul with what is now Republic, it was Chautauqua back in early 2000s. That lasted about a year. Um, it just wasn't time. My daughter was three, four, something like that. She was starting kindergarten. I needed to be home. So I was sad, but I stopped. And then 2016, January, I've been in advertising since the girl <laughs> was little. And she's 18 now. And um, January 2016, I was I got laid off from advertising. I was like, I miss flying. I miss it so much. She's old enough to be on her own. Right. Not on her own own, but you know. But yeah, where you can be gone. Right. Thank and you. not have to have a babysitter or yes. anything like that. Yes. <laughs> um, so I went on Flight Attendant Career Connection. Mm -hmm. I applied for every airline A to Z that was hiring. Mm -hmm. And I got for CJO. Some airlines allow you to defer training. I wanted to I wanted to live and fly out of the same base. So that was my objective. The first airline I went to was Air Wisconsin. Um got based in Philly. I was on the line for probably two weeks and decided that I hated it and I resigned while I was on a trip. Oh wow. And then I went to my next airline the following week after I finished my trip. I went to oh because you had deferred the training that's right I okay. called him up was like yo PSA I'm ready to do this nice. not like that but yeah yeah, yeah in a professional manner <laughs> yeah and um, they were like sure come on got a training class starting every week so I went right to training in um, Vandalia Ohio in June of 2017 and mind no, you, I had June just come. Of 20, not June of 2016. 2016. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mind you, I had just come out of training. Yeah. Two weeks prior from another airline. Yeah. And how long were the trainings? Four, almost five weeks. Yeah. And these are regional airlines. It's a regional, yeah. It's a month. So, a month yeah. I'm like, I lost my marbles. Yeah. yeah you did. <laughs> I'm like, wait. Two weeks apart. I don't know the story. I'm just listening to this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, learning one airline's commands and their yeah. airplanes oh and city codes and Jesus. policies and procedures to. Scrap that. Yeah. Learn all, Learn this, all now. this now. Two weeks later. So Air Wisconsin <sighs> flew for who? Air Wisconsin does American. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Which PSA they does now American. they lost that contract. They so did. now they are united. Was, yeah. Oh, okay. So PSA does American, American as well. And Envoy yes. too. So the difference between um, Air Wisconsin and PSA, and another reason I went there is because PSA is a wholly owned. So mm -hmm. American owns PSA. Yeah. That's a huge deal. Yeah. 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 So you might as well just work for American. It's like this redheaded stepchild, mm -hmm. yeah. basically. So that was another reason I went to them because the benefits changed. When you work for a contractor, we had to pay for our benefits. So every time I listed for a flight, I got charged. Oh. Mm. When I went to PSA, I fly like I fly for American. Right. My priorities Priority are the same. same. My benefits are the same. Which that thousand dollar okay. bonus is the same. All so that's it. that's key with. Regional, research. so if you're working for a wholly owned, so like wholly owned meaning the actual American Airlines owns PSA Airlines, mm -hmm. they did not own Air Wisconsin, so right. there were different benefits. Yeah, it's Delta, 
has what Endeavor it okay, is. So I used to work for Endeavor, and that's why I'm okay. gonna touch on mm-hmm. what you're talking about. So we were owned uh, by Delta, but Envoy was a PSA. You said mm-hmm. they had it a little bit better, in my opinion, than Endeavor had in terms of the relation with Delta, mm-hmm. just because um, priority in terms of like flight travels and all mm-hmm. that. We actually didn't have the same priority as mainline Delta. Right. We were okay. different. That's a huge deal. And PSA so had it was lower. Yes, it right. was lower. And okay. PSA had the same as their mainline, which is actually right. great. Oh. Because we um, are owned by them. Yeah. So, we so, are their so Endeavor is not owned by No, them. Endeavor is owned okay. by Delta. But they, just but they didn't, didn't have us in the same the priority. Yeah. So they made again, it known okay. that we were, you, you yeah. know, you're like, yeah, you do our flying, but yeah. priority's a little lower. So once again, mm-hmm. that just means literally no airline is going to be the same ratio. No, you still have to do all different. your research yeah, on different. these airlines. So Endeavor is owned by Delta, and... Um, and the benefit, I guess, of that is, and, and the thing is, is when I, under, I did two and a half years at Endeavor, and I ended up just realizing personally, I'm like, I might as well just go to Delta because my announcements are exactly the same, my mm-hmm. uniform is mm-hmm. exactly the mm-hmm. same. Mm-hmm. Even mainline flight attendants would confuse me for them, and right. until they looked at my wings, right. and they're like, the, oh, the your wings, wings are different. yeah, different. my wings would say Endeavor while theirs were Delta. Mm-hmm. Passengers would not even know a difference. Yeah. They'll get on a Delta plane, mm-hmm. Delta colors, Delta. Oh, you work for Delta, do you go to London? I'm like, no, no, I go to Des Moines, Iowa a lot. Yeah, so that's what I was going to ask. So when yeah. it comes to your routes and destinations, mm-hmm. as you all know, most people want to work for the big airlines, the American Airlines, the United, the Delta, because they go international, oh, yeah. far and wide. So if you're working for the regional airlines under them, you're going to do, what, mostly domestic flights? and yeah. So you'll do some domestic, you'll do some Caribbean, you'll do yeah. some Canada, but most of the flying is under three hours. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, so it's more the of the yes. commuter. Usually, usually it has a lot to do with, believe it or not, contracts. Okay. So if our union contracts say we don't go west of the Mississippi, we don't go west of the Mississippi because okay. that's the negotiation. A perfect example is Endeavor, owned by Delta, and Compass is not owned by Delta, but they do Delta Regional as well. But Endeavor was predominantly East Coast, right. Midwest. Mm-hmm. We go to Canada, and the furthest west I ever went was Montana. Right. Um, but Compass did they all the West, West Coast. And a diff- another, yeah. yeah, Compass is yeah. more West Coast. And they flew that. different planes too. But on the outside, it all says Delta. We right. all look the same, but right. we're two different companies, right. two different things. Yeah, um, different benefits, yeah. different pay. And, yeah. Yeah. All of that. and to go to back to what she said earlier, there's also other regionals. So Endeavor was mm-hmm. just strictly Delta and Compass. Mm-hmm. I think it's just strictly Delta. I think they do something else. I think Compass thinking. does a little more than Delta. I think Alaska. Okay. Alaska has somebody. Alaska is, yeah, Alaska, Alaska, a lot of people don't realize that either. Alaska is a mainline airline. Yeah. And when you play with the definition of mainline major, so we work for a major airline, low cost care, whatever you want to call it, but we're not technically a mainline because if I'm right, I think a mainline is an airline that has other airlines underneath it, right? What's interesting about the airline that we work for is that I don't think there's any other airline that's American based that does their own regionals. Um, I think the legacies, all of the legacies, they just, they contract other people to do their yeah, regions. Well, Spirit does though, right? In Southwest? Oh, well, Spirit? Spirit and Southwest oh, are very comparable to oh, how well, our well, airlines. Yeah, South, that's Spirit, just a great Spirit, area. Spirit is a super low cost carrier. Yeah. yeah. We're very low cost carrier, whereas we're low cost, um, who else is low cost? Is Frontier considered low cost? I would think Southwest so. Southwest is low cost. Southwest, yes. Southwest, yes. So we kind of but all those airlines, they don't have any other companies flying their for routes. For them, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. so that's what makes a mainline airline. So the only four major airlines in the U.S. that have other companies flying their routes are Alaska Airlines. Delta Airlines, United Airlines, and American Airlines. Yeah. Which are all legacy carriers. We're legacy, Which are yeah. all legacy carriers. And our, so yeah. going back to, so there's also other regionals that literally, you, their uniform is neutral. Because in one Sky pairing. Sky West. So is Republic. Yeah, yeah, yeah their West. uniform is neutral. It's like black and white corporate because mm-hmm. in one pairing you could be flying a Delta Lake. All you do is change your time. And then, yeah. and then another dual, uh, whatever, what, I don't know, US Airways yeah. or American. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... And the announcements, you gotta know which airline yes, to say what go aboard. That's very so true. So I didn't, I didn't experience that, but I know other regionals they, yeah. they do that. So you know, when my first CJO, when I missed my interview with my airline near and dear to my heart, I ended up accepting a CJO with SkyWest Airlines, which is a regional, and they fly, they fly for all four of the legacy airlines. The mainline airlines they fly for delta they fly for american they fly for united they fly for alaska 
and the way that they did their things was depending on where you were based was which airlines or routes you would be flying is how that works and paying things. Mm -hmm. See, the one benefit of working for a, co a company like that is if you only want to fly regional, if you only want to fly less than two or three hours, if you want to be yeah. based in your city, like I was saying, it, for me, yeah. I wanted to work for these smaller regionals because I could be based in my city. I didn't have to worry about getting crash pad. I have to worry. I had a husband, a house. I had yeah. all that. So it was important to me. Mm -hmm. So it depends on what your priorities yeah. are. And absolutely, I don't know about with Sky West, but like with Republic, one of the benefits they've negotiated is that you get the benefits of all four carriers. Yeah. So and Sky West, you really? got the benefits. Yes. Sky West, you yes. got the benefits of two. I think it was United and Delta. And then depending on where you were based, mm -hmm. if you were West Coast, you would still receive Alaska or whatever. One thing that so. I would say too, and I think Envoy or PSA, who are, that's owned by American, that's mm -hmm. different than Endeavor being owned by Delta, is that we didn't touch none of that profit sharing. Like, and that's another thing that that kind of like people that worked at Endeavor were like, then what's, why are we working so hard? Because right. um, Endeavor, and there's one thing someone told me, like Endeavor isn't really truly in like regional airlines, they fly for an airline mm -hmm. for their routes. They don't have to worry about their seats being filled. They don't have to worry about, you know, selling tickets. Selling that's tickets. not regional. All don't worry they about do that. is it's, that's what the contract. The functions yeah. of the flight. Mainline's the one that worries about that. So. Whenever I would work at Endeavor and like sell the alcohol and all that, um, that's going towards the profit sharing that the mainliners are gonna get, and we don't get it. Wow! So that made that made some of us a little salty. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, so yeah, why am absolutely. I? You know, it makes. But again, nothing bad about the region. It's just that these are just things you have to keep in mind. Um, yeah, there's like subtle differences. Yeah, there's, there's like benefits is different. Mm -hmm. uh, again, like I mentioned earlier, our priority for standby flying for Delta. We were lower, and they do a first. Um, they don't do first come first serve. They do a priority mm -hmm. and seniority. Mm -hmm. So that plane had to be pretty empty for me to get on comfortably. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's stressful. I want to say that is very stressful. stressful. I want to say our airline is one of the only airlines that do I first, love first come, come first, first serve. serve. I honestly American love does. that. American they do it. Does as it's well. just I just yeah. the way to so go. So if, if one it. of you showed up and my daughter showed up, mm -hmm. you're the same priority. If she checked in before yeah. you, mm -hmm. my daughter's getting a seat before, before you do, yeah. even though you're an employee. Yeah. Same priority. Same yeah, priority. no, that's, I, I, I prefer it that way. And a quick story, I was going to Rome with my father, and we I booked that flight like a month in advance, and this mainline family just last minute last gets minute. on, and just checked in like the day before and bumped us down oh, to the is. point where it was like, if any more seats are taken, we're not getting on. Yeah. We ended up getting on, but what a stressful. It's that so was stressful. so stressful. That's yeah. Awesome. yeah. And I mean, that can happen in, like, I believe it's United who United is, that way. is, Still, is boxed in Yori. Yep. Yeah. So if you and another crew member are trying to commute to work and they check in after you, show up at the gate after you, but they're more senior than you, they're going to get on the flight and you're not. So... Every airline is always going to be different, and we can sit here and compare for days till exactly. we're blue in the face, honestly. Mm -hmm. But you have to make your list of pros and cons and what you want for your life. And nobody is ever saying that a regional is not as good as right. a mainline. At the end of the day, people stay at regionals for years. Yeah, they yeah. make a career out of it. You which go is, to you go to, to training. It may not be the same training, but you're doing the same work on that aircraft mm -hmm. that a mainline or a major airline flight attendant is mm -hmm. doing. You know, don't take anything away from that. You just really have to figure out what you want for your life. If, and like Vaughn yeah. was saying, she had she had a daughter, she had a life. Yeah. She wanted to be at an airline that had a base where she could be at home, go home every night. So those are other things that you need to look into, even if it is a regional airline. There's, and one thing I will say, is, so two and a half years at Endeavor, I did have a pretty good seniority. I was getting all That's my holidays thing. off. And all my, because it's a small airline. So seniority yeah. climbs a lot faster. Oh, a lot faster. Oh, a lot. I came yeah. out of training with a line. Yeah. Oh wow. Well, yeah. Yeah. You see? And where's where's <laughs> you're what a year I'm into it? I'm almost a year, and I'm about yeah. to get a line. <laughs> and, but but that's only because I'm we going made this, yeah, transition this transition to first class. Yeah. A year here. He's. I, would you? Did you have a line at all? No. Anymore? No, not at all. No. Mm -hmm. So a year yeah. at a major airline. Um, and that's good for our that's actually airline. pretty good. Other airlines, There's, you are I have a friend of mine that, multiple yeah, years. I have a friend of mine line. that works at United and he's been there three years Absolutely. and he's still on Hold reserve. On. Absolutely. There's and, people at, I have a friend that's at United. Mm -hmm. Y'all know, okay, I don't know if I've ever really mentioned this, but y'all know I'm from Houston. The only airline that I applied to for year after year after year was United it's because I had in my mind 
that I, but not even because it's yeah. huge, but I want it to be but based in Houston. Houston. Yeah, Houston. And, and, yeah, and Houston. IH, that's yeah. their biggest base. Yeah. But I have huge. a friend that's there, and she's been there, I think, almost seven, eight years, and she's still on yeah, reserve. Yes, guaranteed, you know, she's at home. You know, right. that's nice, but you still don't have any type of set schedule and I believe mm -hmm. they have 24 hour reserve yeah, so oh my god you know they, they can call Ooh. her at any point of the day and That's say hey you know she could be at a party you know getting it getting down and she gotta go and you the, know that so. happened to me <laughs> and the, the difference is like between a reserve and a line is it's it's a different job almost once you get a line absolutely you kind of you have a life you know? absolutely on reserve it's like your days off are your only days off that you can really like plan anything on reserve yeah. you can risk it sometimes but it's too I've stressful. seen people yeah. like they risk it and get called and they're right. not even oh man yeah. you don't want to you don't want to get like that yeah. it's just so that's another thing you know write that down at a regional airline seniority you, goes up high. seniority like, goes quicker. up very way quicker like Fawn said she came out of training and had a line that is amazing yeah. Yeah. I know Republic is still like that like they have so many bases mm -hmm. their people in regional they have lines. bases in towns that like you know the main lines and everybody that have bases in major cities right. but like if someone that lived in like um, I think I think it's Columbus Ohio there's a regional that yeah. has an airline a base there PSA it, has a base yes yeah, uh, no they don't I, I don't Take know who back. it is um, and then but like, somebody does. Yeah, and, you can, so, and you can figure these things out, right, especially if you right. live there. Go to your airport and ask. Slide it to the slide it to the connection that yeah. Facebook page. Ask, ask the yeah. question. People Absolutely. will answer. They will they will answer. Yeah. Tell I'll you. go ahead and link that Facebook page in the in the um, detail boxes below. If you're not a part of that Facebook page, you yeah. should definitely join it's that Facebook page. There is like fifty thousand flight attendants mm -hmm. a part of that page. Want to be flight attendants? Want to be flight attendants? Flight attendants? Old school flight attendants, senior mamas, papas, everything. Any recruiters, question, recruiter, so make sure you act right. It's mm -hmm. correct when yeah. you get on that page. <laughs> but you can yeah. most definitely, any question that you could ever have, you can even just search it. You don't even have to ask. Yeah. If you just search within that group page, you'll find your answer. So now, I'll link it for you. Why not? So, so yeah, going back to, so yeah, if you don't want to commute, regionals is a lot easier because mm -hmm. it depends on where you're living. Mm -hmm. So if commuting is not going to be an issue for you, then go ahead and apply for the main lines. But if you see that you live in a town like Columbus, Ohio, and mm -hmm. you see that there's a regional there that's based there, uh, you might just want to just do that because yeah. it's yeah. a lot easier. I don't commute, thank God. But yeah. I, but Are you living? I live in New York. Yeah. Oh, I didn't um, know that. Yeah, and I just I can't. I just I see people that I work with that commute from like California to New York. Yeah, yeah. and, and yeah, like, that's the other thing. Depending on oh your airline and where you're commuting from. It can be really tough. I don't it have is. it too, too hard because my airline, we don't actually, well, we fly to Houston, but it's not a major route. Mm -hmm. So usually that flight is available for me if I decide to fly our airline. Or you have your benefits to uh, non rev yeah. on other airlines yeah. as well. But yeah, yeah so like that's our, important. if you know, for us, if you're um, Fort Lauderdale based or Orlando you based <laughs> and you're, you know, coming from JFK or vice versa, really, if you live in Orlando, yeah, Fort Lauderdale base. and you're based here, these are some of our major bases. That's going to be very hard. That's another thing to consider if you're really wanting a mainline airline. How is your commute going to be? Because most mainline airlines have, what, maybe eight to ten bases? They have, yeah, maybe I mean, more yeah, depending on the airline. And but some, yeah, and some, I don't know, uh, I think there's other airlines that have bases in other countries. I think Norwegian. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah Norwegian. Norwegian's not even an American-based yeah, airline. American and they have airline. a base here in New York. Mm -hmm. They do their yeah. training. So it's, it, there's, you know. Yeah, and I mean, there's American air, not um, um not American Airlines themselves, American but American carriers. American, American, yeah, carrier. American, American carriers. Based yeah, carriers. Help me yeah. out. <laughs> American based carriers that have bases in outside of the U.S. as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, one thing that's I'm just thinking of all the points layovers too. I like to have yeah. fun on my layovers, but the layovers in the regional level, no matter if it's a long layover or a short one, at least that endeavor. It was always. I was about a, to say. No, it was always. <laughs> it was always a hotel right by the airport. And, okay. And, and it's like we would have like maybe twenty five hours and like. You didn't maybe have like a long layover and a short layover. No. Oh. Maybe when I was leaving. That said, y'all had long and shorts. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, so the I can regions show you are my different. Suit picks and, and, so like and. it was. It was always like um, when I was leaving, I heard rumors that they were gonna start doing that. I don't know if they have. Yeah. But um. Yeah, if we would have 25 hours in like the Cincinnati Double Tree airport. Yeah, right, like by, the airport. right so by the airport. Usually, if your airline is nice and really likes you, yeah. they're going to give they you. They like you. 
<laughs> they're gonna give they you long and short points. layovers, and that usually is at like a 12 to 13 hour break. Right. So if you only have like a 12, 13 hour layover, they're gonna put you closer to, to the, airport. the airport. Simply one, so you can get as much rest as possible. Right. Basically, that's really why, so that you don't have to leave super early to get back. But if you have a longer layover, you know, 14 to whatever plus hours. 52 then, hours yeah, in Bermuda. They'll put you somewhere right. further <laughs> out so you can enjoy the city and sightsee and things like that. Um, not one thing, another topic I feel like we haven't brushed on is um, money. Is pay. Yeah, which um, is, I know that's oh, what y'all want to know. Yeah. Oh my God. So <laughs> I, I always say, if, when I worked at Endeavor, I realized that a lot of new hires were people that have full-blown careers before then, and they already had like a little pension on the side or like mm -hmm. something to survive yeah. on because- We have a lot of that here. All these people do, yeah. that worked um, for the government, cops, mm -hmm. firefighters, yeah, 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 all, yeah. they mm -hmm. got pensions, they can live on reserve. Right, Us? but when- Struggles real. If, right. Especially in the regional level because, and I'm gonna say it now, two and a half years at Endeavor, I was getting paid X amount, and six months in here, I, I beat that. I remember you saying yeah. that. And I'm just like, and it made me realize, why did I just apply? Because that's another thing. Training was so hard for me the first time, not because of what I was learning, but it gets very dramatic, you know, living with strangers for a month sometimes. It's like uh, a soap opera. Uh, <laughs> well, luckily for us, we had separate oh, rooms no. and things, but did oh, you no, have room? No, we, we, I shared, had a roommate. I had shared, I, shared, room. I, shared a, I shared a room at a Holiday Inn. Oh, but I remember you said you liked to have the roommate. I like to have a roommate. Yeah, yeah. if the roommate is cool. No. I've always had a cool roommate. Look, no. she's still here. Well, we weren't roommates in training, though. We was floor mates. <laughs> floor we were. Yeah, no. we were. No, 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 we weren't. No, we, you oh. were on the second. I was on the fourth. Oh. We just, I just went knocking every morning. But, but yeah, um, it just, it gets, and I had to, um, again, this is different per regional, but I had to pay for my first set of uniform, pay for yes, my own yeah, carry-on. That's, that's true. And the only meal that was provided was breakfast, breakfast. and yes. I had to figure out lunch and dinner, so you know my credit card was... Yeah. So, See, things to take into consideration. You get into a little hole. And, but uh, you know what, <laughs> most airlines... I'll, maybe I think it's getting better now, but mm -hmm. let's say 35% of airlines pay you while you're in training. Ours did. Yeah, I'm so, Delta does. I, I, I think. I think I've I think been Virgin American does. I don't know if they do. Skywest does. Virgin America. Virgin America, you gotta put your own bill. Yeah, you have no, to. No, no, no. They pay everything. you. No, they pay you though. Oh, you have really? to find your yeah. own. Hotel. But you anyway. have to find your own place. Hawaii. They pay and Hawaii doesn't. They, pay they you. have. They're now merged <laughs> with Alaska. <They> <laughs> are. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, darn, I feel so bad for y'all. Y'all got to wear them uniforms now. Yeah, they little red oh, dress. They, will snatch, they will snatch yes. them little red. Yes, yeah, they virgin. Were. If I'm not mistaken, I think not it was no Banana more. Republic. Uh, banana Republic? Yeah, oh, I think it was Banana. No, their, their uniform. Oh, it was by Banana Republic. I think oh, it that's was who Banana designed it? I think mm. I remember seeing that on, a, on one of my, when I yeah. had a non-rev on. But that um, is back to pay, though, but... Yeah. That, that's just the, the simple truth. Regionals real. do not pay as much as mainline airlines. It, it, Where, up to like for, can you pull up your phone with the chart of... I don't think I have that. It's on the Facebook pages. Did you see the chart of the, the average pays and things like that? Oh. But okay, let's just say, I'm just going to put it out there. I believe Mesa Airlines, Mesa, Mesa, M-E-S-A yeah. is one of... Is one they just or got a new contract? Oh, they just got well, yeah. they were at one point the lowest, the lowest paying airline starting yeah. at, I believe, $15, 15. an Something hour. Stupid. And I'm gonna do another video one day going into more detail of how flight yeah. tickets get paid because you're probably saying, Well, $15 an hour isn't bad, yeah, no, but you it's know, not a nine to five, but you're not getting paid nine to five, no. you're not getting paid 120 hours a month, you know, like a, I mean, 160 hours a month, mm -hmm. like you're working a 40 a hour time, job. Like, That's not different. how we get paid. I, I remember so, doing the math when I first started at Endeavor, I think it was 18 an hour when you first started there, 1750. dollars yeah. could change If now. you Google it, you yeah. will see that most first year flight attendants, their first year salary is gonna be anywhere between 15,000 to 30,000 depending on the airline. There's a live Excel sheet. I think it's on Flight Attendant Career Connection that, mm -hmm. that every airline updates. I guess oh. we can try to find the link for that too, but oh. it literally I know is the live updated by the flight attendants that are on there. And yeah. We kinda all well, go I'll go ahead and tell y'all this. The highest paying, and this is just going to be majors because that was all that's on the list. As of right now, there was a document that came out, and the highest paying airline right now is Southwest, Southwest. Airlines. I have a friend of mine. Get that coin, Southwest. Yes. Southwest yes. is making that money. They make more than the Delta, the American, the United. I do have that then one. Did you, you want that Yeah, one? that's what I was asking oh, for. I yeah. Yeah, I have a friend of mine that's based out in Vegas. 
Vegas, and yeah. uh, he, he didn't lie to me. He showed me a pace, though. Yeah, and I'm, I'm like, okay, make, buddy. And, I mean, obviously, <laughs> their routes are limited. They all, you know, they're yeah. more domestic. I think they've done, I don't like, think the Mexico. One? Yeah, yeah I, I looked into it when I was applying, and I, I never applied to them because they just didn't appeal to me in terms of what I liked as routes mm -hmm. and layovers and stuff. But, okay, like, so this just really shows what your top rate is, so I'll tell y'all this. But this is still probably going to go in the average of what you start off as as well. So, Southwest is the top paid. Their top out rate is seventy dollars and sixty eight cents. So after an hour, no, no, no. How many years? That's after. Where's Southwest? That's after thirteen years of service, of, service. of flying with Southwest. That's the, yeah. Your highest pay rate will be seventy dollars and sixty eight cents. I don't have the starting rates on here, y'all. Y'all got to do a little work for yourself. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then it's American. Top out rate at sixty six dollars and twenty six cents. Then you have Delta at sixty four ninety six, United at sixty three twenty four, Alaska at sixty eighty five. The industry average right now is fifty eight sixty four top out rate. Then you have JetBlue, which has two different um, pay scales. They have a straight pay fifty six forty, a premium pay which is at fifty one thirty eight. Then you have Spirit Airlines, which is forty seven twenty six, and then you have Frontier Airlines, which is at thirty seven twenty one, which is honest to god ridiculous. Oh, uh, thirty seven. Frontier. Wow, and that's like that's why like a decade that's what of this service. Says. I, like, hope, I, I, I looked at that, but the fact that you just said it, yeah, like comprehends different. That is that's that's well. I, that's, imagine a decade of service at thirty-seven. And Frontier and tops out at all other airlines are twelve years. So Alaska is after fifteen years. Spirit is after fifteen, and you only get to forty-seven. Come on, Spirit. Southwest is after thirteen, and every other year you top out at twelve years. Yeah. And then Spirit, I mean. Southwest and Alaska, their pay scale is a little different as well. They have something called TFP pay, which I don't know how to explain because I don't work for them. But it makes their their the way they get paid is differently. But that just gives you an idea of top out and who starts off at the most is probably just the same in the same order. Mm -hmm. um, but regional airlines just they don't get paid. As much. I think the the gap between Endeavor starting pay and Mainline starting pay for Delta was about ten eleven dollars. Really, that's the same an hour. American, that was the that gap. Um, so that's why a lot of people that mm -hmm. were Endeavor they would go ahead and apply for Mainline Delta because they're like. Because what American? What did he post in the page the other day? They're almost right at thirty dollars starting yeah. pay now. Yeah. They got a. Yeah. They just they had, had a raise, a, a raise Delta. basically Delta. to where they're starting pay for just starting with. Mainline American Airlines is, I think, $29 yeah. and some so change now. So it seems like now. $10 is about it's the average about the, disparity about between the, yeah. the regionals. Between the gaps, years. yeah. So it's I think a, probably another thing that needs to be touched on is I know a lot of people ask, oh, well, should I just start off at a regional? Is that yeah. going to help me get my foot oh, in the door? Nice. Mm. good. I was going to have something to Not say really. to that. Not really. You, don't, you don't think so, so. I don't I don't think so. No. Uh, you don't think with so With my either. personal mm -hmm. experience, I did Endeavor for two and a half years, and in those two and a half years, I've only seen like a handful of Endeavor flight attendants go to Delta Mainline, get accepted actually, because everyone applies in Endeavor to go to Delta, because that's mm -hmm. what we know, right. it's familiar. Yeah. We know the culture already, so all we really gotta do is just learn the bigger planes. But we rarely ever got yes. But do you think it hurts you, or you just don't think it's a guarantee? I, I don't think that it's a foot in the door. just because. Right. And this is, again, a, I heard this from multiple and people. And this is his yes, opinion. opinion. Look at her top. Uh, I saw, <laughs> <laughs> I, I've heard from multiple people that worked at Mainline that told me that actually Endeavor on your resume doesn't really help you because... And you gotta see from at the end mainline. of the day, it's still two different airlines. Yeah, but the thing right. is, Delta owns Endeavor, so when Endeavor trains flight attendants, that's Delta mainline money. So kind of technically, if you get hired from Endeavor to go to Delta, Delta's technically playing almost twice as much because now they gotta find a new hire to kind of get oh, in to I take can, your I spot. I can see that. So that might and be something. And then train you for the two month training period that Delta has. I've always heard that stigma too. Just the stigma in general. Yeah, that's, in I don't general, know if it's that, true, but it's what I've heard. That um, I got the night three times. We're difficult to train. <laughs> you hold on. Airlines. You applied for Delta three, three times. times. And and did I'm, you make it to bilingual. the face to face? I ain't make it to the face to face. Yeah. I only did videos all three times. One of those applications was bilingual because I do speak Spanish, and I got nose three times. Even as an LOD. Even as an LOD, and I just said, you know what? Forget this. But you know what's interesting? I have a friend of mine. LOD, language of destination. Yes, translator. Um. 
I have a friend of mine that one day in a party, a good friend of mine asked me I want to be a flight attendant. So I told him everything. He applied for Delta Mainline once, no experience in the airline industry, and See, got in. Right. And got it. So it so tells you it, the regionals it doesn't just, really, you it, know. Honest, honestly, y'all, and Delta is probably one of the main airlines where people say, I did everything, so I did this. It's a lot of applications, a lot of applications they get. So many people mm -hmm. apply to Delta. I've applied to Delta. We've all, we've all applied, applied to Delta. Delta. Least, <laughs> and there is no shame in me saying I got a TBNT. I don't yeah. care. God put me where I need to be. But I don't want y'all to ever say, oh, I've applied here. Well, how come this person got in and I can't get in? That has nothing to do with yeah. you, especially at the the level of applications it's that they intense. get. You That's have to understand. It's probably like 20 to 1. I think you know, there, there was an article or, or even more. a couple years ago that said that their acceptance rate was lower than Harvard. Yeah. In terms of like ratio yeah. of applicants it, to accept From what teams. I've heard of people that have actually made it to their face-to-face, -face, from what I hear, they have about a good 60 people attend these face-to-faces, right. and then they choose four to five people right. per mm -hmm. interview day, face-to-face -face group. It's... It's a tough airline to get into. So mm -hmm. if you have got into them, kudos to you. Because Delta kudos. is definitely a legacy airline for a reason. They're a great airline. And if that is your goal, if that's your dream, keep working towards it. There's people that mm -hmm. have applied there 10 times over right. and finally make it. So, so yeah, do just, do what's in your heart. Just to you know, disconnect. Just yeah, so that whole, like, oh, start on the regionals. Right. I would say start on the regionals if you're not sure that this is the lifestyle exactly. you're Exactly. That's, that's exactly, exactly what I was going to say. It's a good uh, stepping stool of, like, okay, this is what this, this is, is about. This is a taste, right. Right. Um, and if you like it, go higher. Yeah. If you don't. You didn't really invest yeah. much into it because right. you just did regionals. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but I yeah. Would, yeah, I would say that's definitely true because once you get into this lifestyle, and as y'all see, you watch my vlogs, you watch all these other flight attendant vlogs, the lifestyle isn't easy. It's fun, it's tiring, it is mm -hmm. worth it for me, but depending on what your life consists of now, it, it can be a lot, especially in the beginning. So a regional yeah, is a great way to start off and to really see you know, how much time you really have to yourself, how you can truly play with your schedule and things like that. And then if, you know, those domestic destinations aren't enough for you, then yeah, definitely venture out and look at all all of the other airlines. Don't just narrow it down to mm -hmm. this one is because that's just what I've been hearing my whole life. Right. There's so many airlines out here. There's go international. Lot. Go to Emirates, boo. Go. There's corporate. Emirates. Emirates. Yeah, that's another kind of one. Yeah. You said Emirates, and I'm like... <laughs> Because I applied to them, too. I applied there, too. And, <laughs> but what scared me with them was they invited me to the open house. But I was like, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, you got it. So did you do the whole photo? I didn't, you, you I, did I didn't the... go to the open house. I didn't because oh. I, I kind of, like, told myself, like, wait. What? So a little backstory about me. Uh, main goal in life is to be an airline pilot. Yeah, you, he so, has his private pilot. You so, and Fawn has hers, too. Oh, yes. You don't. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's another video. Yeah, that's another video. So, oh yeah, pilots. Um, so anyways, <laughs> that's one of the reasons why I joined the regionals, to kind of get the airline lifestyle, to mm -hmm. see if I really wanted to go full throttle in this pilot stuff, because it's really expensive. Mm -hmm. um, and I actually enjoy the lifestyle, and still is a goal, still is a dream. Mm -hmm. Working for Emirates, you're living in Dubai. Right, And that's... I need American pilot's license to work here. Yeah. So I saw that kind of going against my dream. Like, yeah, okay. it doesn't make sense for me to go yeah. two years over there do no flying i could get licenses over there but then i'll be limited to their airlines and oh, i don't know okay. if i wanna gotcha it's just there it was too much yeah uh, and their contract base it's just a whole nother right. can of worms yeah. yeah european flying is so different than mm -hmm. what we do here yeah yeah so this video is getting kind of long and we need to go eat i We're knew hungry. that was gonna happen um yeah this is a conversation that can go on for days because there literally really there's so there many comparisons <laughs> that you can make but i really wanted to just put this out here for y'all because I know I get a lot of questions, you know, from you all on Facebook. Pe people are all in my messages, okay? And I just wanted to help y'all out, <laughs> give y'all a little, a little bit of tea here, a little bit of information, and then you all make your own value-based decisions. say that. Yes, I learned that today. Value-based <laughs> decisions, okay? <laughs> Values based on what your lifestyle oh. needs to be like. So thank you all awesome. for watching. Make sure that you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up so other people can see this. Y'all know how YouTube works. The, it's down, down there. It is down there. <laughs> also, thank you for having me. This is actually pretty fun. Thank oh, you. Thank you, Medina. Y'all say give Medina a clap, 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 He's clap. He's single, too. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs>
Hey, right, we gotta cut it. We gotta cut it. We gotta cut it. Anyways, <laughs> bye, y'all. See you next time. And, um. <laughs> Is this the headline?